Good afternoon. Um, we are going to go over our Christmas songs. I know I put them up and you can just go over them with the music if you want to. But if you want to, I will go over them with you. So maybe I can go over the words with you and then we can sing them together. All right, let's pray. Close your eyes. Heavenly Father, thank you for this beautiful class you've given me. Help us please to learn our song words so we can do a beautiful Christmas program that points to you. We ask in Jesus' name, amen. Okay, so my dears, we're going to start with Love Came Down at Christmas, okay? That one is a new one that you probably haven't heard on the radio, so I am going to help you learn it. Remember that when you sing, you sit up tall and straight, or you stand up tall and straight, no schlumping, tall and straight. And you put the air all the way down to the bottom of your lungs, right here where your tummy is. <sighs> okay, we don't want to just raise our shoulders. We, as a matter of fact, we don't want our shoulders to move when we breathe in. <sighs> See, my air went down there. It didn't go up here. This is how people breathe when they don't know how to breathe deep and deeply. I'll show you one time. <gasps> okay, if this happens to you and your chest goes up and your shoulders go up, look at all the the lines in my neck. You know what that is? That's tense muscles. And we don't want to be like that. We want to be relaxed because guess what comes out of your neck? It's your voice. Yeah, your vocal cords are right here. So we want our air to go all the way down here and we want to breathe in. Put the air down there and then push it out. So this is weird because when you breathe, some people, well, when you get out of babyhood, people start breathing backwards. I think it's because of gravity. But when you're a baby, you breathe right, you breathe down here. When you are when you start to grow up, you start to breathe more up here in the top of your chest. But you wanna relearn to breathe like this. One way you can tell, you can check your breathing when you're, um, when you just wake up, First, wake up in the morning, put your hand right here on your tummy and just feel it. Just, just breathe quietly while you feel. And I bet you anything, your tummy will be moving the right way. And then when you get into the day, we start doing this again. So we have to relearn and practice breathing down here, okay? So anyway, we deeply breathe. We have good, tall posture. We make our words very clear. We want to say every sound. We don't want to run words together like wanna, want to, we want to. You see, wanna, want to, which is clearer. Want to, right? So think about putting your words right up here. Put the sounds in the front of your mouth. Silent night. Put the T right there. Okay? But don't spit on anybody. Okay. Anyway, open your mouth. Since your voice is here and your air goes from here, you want to have lots of space for that voice to come out. We don't want it to get stuck up in our face. We want it to be, ah, not, ah, ah, ah. so practice opening up. Check yourself in a mirror and see if you're opening up like me. Remember Home Alone? Did you see Home Alone? Remember how the kid would? Well, that's a good way to open your mouth for singing an ah. Ah, okay. Match the notes. Means listen to what you hear. Try to make your voice be on the right notes. Most people that don't match very well sing too low. There's a few that sing too high, but most of them sing too low. So listen, because you know what? We talk lower than we sing, really. You know, we talk down here, but I don't sing in here very much, just a little bit. More often I sing up here. So so for so listen to the pitches and use your higher singing voice for the notes. But listen to yourself and see if you're the same as the notes. And that way, if you're one of those few that sings too high, you can go, whoops, no, that was too high. I need to sing lower. Okay? So Sit up tall, breathe deep, open your mouth, make your words clear, match the notes. Got all that? Okay, now I'm going to say the words to love 
came down at Christmas. Now we're, we're going to say la. We're not going to go love like I love you. No, la. Okay, drop your jaw down and make it an ah. La. La came down. Don't say down like a country western singer. It's da. Down. Okay, love came down at Christmas. Love, a lovely love divine. Love was born at Christmas. Star and angel gave the sign. Okay, I forgot to have you echo, so let's try it, okay? Love came down at Christmas. Love, a lovely love divine. Love was born at Christmas. Star and angel gave the sign. Now, I want to tell you real quick in the video or in the music that I'm going to play, she sings stars, but there was one star, right? The star that shone over Bethlehem, remember? That star was the one. So we're going to try to remember to sing star and angels instead of stars and angels. Okay, next part of the song. Love shall be our token. Love be yours and love be mine. Love from God to all of us. Love for plea and gift and sign. Okay, I'm going to go over real quickly what those words mean, all right? So it says love came down at Christmas. What came down from heaven at Christmas besides the angels? Jesus did, right? He came to earth to be born as a baby, remember? So love is Jesus. Love all lovely, love divine. So they're saying that Jesus was lovely and that Jesus is divine. Divine means from God. Okay. And then it says love was born at Christmas. And that's just another way of saying the same thing, right? Star and angel gave the sign. Of course, the star, you know, the star shone and the angels sang. And all of those things announced that Jesus was born and where he was born, which is Bethlehem, right? Now, the next part of the song says, love shall be our token. Now, what that means is we who love Jesus and belong to him should live a life that's full of love. That should be who we are. It should be our token. It's like the way we live every day is by loving other people. Loving our parents and our teachers and our classmates. Everyone God puts in our lives. Okay? And then it says, love be yours and love be mine. And that's easy, right? We should all be full of love. And then it says, love from God to all of us. Because he's the one who loved us first, right? Before we even knew who he was, he loved us and sent Jesus. And then the ending, I think this is the hardest line, love for plea. You know what a plea is? It's when you plead with somebody. Well, Jesus, when he died on the cross, he was making a plea to God for us. Love for plea and gift. And the gift Jesus gave us was what? It was salvation and forgiveness so that we could become God's children. So love for plea and gift and sign. 
And the sign of his love for us is that he died in our stead so that we don't have to be punished for sin. But he was punished for us. And then he was able to wash our sins away. His blood is like magic, like I used to tell my children. It washes away all your sins and makes you clean. Okay, so that is what the words mean, to me at least. I think that's pretty, pretty close to what the author meant. So I'm going to put on the music now, and I'm going to sing along. And I want you to try to sing with me. And she goes through it a few times, so we'll have time to get to know it. Okay, so here we go. Let me push play. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, yeah, never mind. Sorry. I couldn't find you. <laughs> Here we go. Ready? Love came down. Love came down at Christmas. Love, a lovely love divine. Love was born at Christmas. Star and angels gave the sign. Came down at Christmas, love, a lovely love divine. Love was born at Christmas, star and angels gave the sign. Love shall be our token, love be yours and love be mine. Love from God to all of us, love for free and a gift and sign. Instrumental interlude. Pause it. 